When I got a 98th percentile, my father always asked, what about the two guys ahead of you? So there's that inner anxiety that always says, you can do better. Why aren't you doing better? But many things that many people said could not be done. You will fail. We have done. It's, it's now history. It's already done. The liver is the driver of human health and well-being. When the liver is healthy, the other organs are healthy. If the liver goes down, the other organs go down. What brought me into hepatology is our patients who always did so poorly when they had serious liver disease. Patients with cirrhosis would come in and die every day of the week. And there was so little we could offer them. That made me start thinking about why we needed to make progress. While people may be dying of heart disease, it is 20 years of liver disease that leads to the heart disease. Every time we are putting a stent into a coronary artery, the medical system has failed that patient for 20 years because they've ignored the liver that's driving that process. And that's an important paradigm shift. We can now resolve this disease in 70 to 80 percent of people with drug therapy that we started here. There is hope that we might even be able to reverse cirrhosis. And for people who have early stage disease, we can wipe the liver disease out in over 90 percent of patients. These are remarkable numbers for a disease that can progress and affect over a billion people around the world. I'm very proud of the team we have put together working on creating the infrastructure where future generations of investigators can come and have a successful career and fill in knowledge gaps that will help people all over the world. The day as a transplant hepatologist I put myself out of a job is the day I know my job is done. Then I think that would be a life well lived.